team had a big 84-29 win over St. Olaf College tonight. Uh, your lone exhibition of the season, what kind of kinks needed to be taken out or were got, got out, of the, out of your systems with uh, the victory tonight? Well, I really thought we moved the ball well tonight as a team. Um, in our scrimmages, uh, the last two scrimmages we had, we just had trouble getting our offense going and kind of building a chemistry with um, you know, the two groups that kind of come in. But we really moved the ball well and made that extra pass tonight. We kind of knocked the kinks out that way. Uh, the team shot incredibly well tonight, 51% in the first half and a 45% total in the second or combined. Uh, was it the defense they were playing or we, was the basket just looking bigger tonight? What went so well for the, on the offensive side? Well, I'd like to give credit to our team first, just being unselfish and making that extra pass and finding the open player. But I also think that um, the defenses we'll see uh, as the year progress will get a little bit more tough. And we ha we just had a, quite a few open looks tonight, and we were able to knock them down. So uh, you yourself had 17 points on six of eight shooting, going mm -hmm. five of seven from behind the arc. Uh, what went so right for you tonight? Uh, we just in right spots uh, from the passes. Uh, what was going so well for you? Uh, passes came into my shooter's pocket, and I just tried to relax and shoot the ball. Um, just trying not to force shots, and I just thought I was taking shots when I was open, and thankful that they went in. Uh, a big change to this season's been uh, the change in the rules with quarters and fouls. How has the last three with the two scrimmage and the, and the exhibition tonight, how have you guys been able to deal with uh, the major change from halves to quarters this year? Well, I think for me, I've noticed just the game feels like it goes a lot faster. Um, but tonight, the uh, St. Olaf coach called a timeout with the last six minutes at the end of the game, and so that uh, they were allowed to advance the ball. And I thought um, we just we handled that well, um, but we're just going to end up seeing those end of the game, uh, especially close scenarios throughout the season, and we just have to be prepared for those. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Nicole Kirkhoff, forward for Augustana University. Uh, team had an impressive 84-29 win tonight over St. Olaf College. Uh, what went so right for the team uh, to, to post such an impressive win early on in the season? Um, I think a big thing for us was communication. We talked really well on defense and on our press, and even on offense, we moved the ball and we're calling for it. Uh, the team shot 51% in the first half and 45 in the second half. Was the passing just that good tonight, or were – which was a scouting report better? Uh, what went into such a great offensive performance? We were just calling for each other and looking for it. We had some nice kickouts, and our guards were hitting the threes, and just makes the game easier. Uh, you, you yourself had 13 points and two rebounds. Uh, shot 100% from the behind the arc with one-on-one uh, -on -one shooting. Were you just having a, a, a good night? Uh, were you feeling it? What was what went so right for you personally? Um, I guess just playing hard, getting them, getting your mentality right to just know you gotta work hard in there, be aggressive, and go after the take open shots. Uh, a big change this year has been the rule change going from halves to quarters and then five fouls per, per quarter with it resetting. How have you guys been able to adjust to those changes, and how did you guys adjust to them in game today? Um, just working on coaches are reminding us, even throughout the game tonight, they're reminding us of little rule changes, and so just getting used to the rules and whatnot to, to I don't know, make the game go. All right, thank you very much.